glass. I just love the blue glass. I like, yeah, after all this time, I still like get excited to come and like work every day, you know, because every day is different. Even though I might be making a hundred olive oil bottles today, it's still different. I started flame working or lamp working is what we call it, where you have a, a bench torch and um, you're using that as your heat source. And so it's a much smaller type of glass blowing um, and more capable of doing it in a shed, a, a bedroom, a patio, what have you. I mean, it's kind of like welding. You know, you're using again a, a torch that sits on a stationary bench and that's your heat source and you're melting glass in front of it, shaping, blowing, sculpting, etc. There are so many things I can do on the torch that I can't do in the furnace and then vice versa. So it depends on my scope of work that I want to do. And I also fuse glass off and on to get different effects. So I'm one of those guys that will do whatever I can to create whatever the challenge may be or whatever the project may be. What I found, especially in the world of glass, is that a lot of guys will stick within a realm, right? Like, so for instance, one guy will just, he's a goblet maker, right? And within the goblet, form or cup form, you, you can spend your life making a different cup every day, but it's still a cup or tableware or whatever, right? And, and that's what they're into. And they never really deviate outside of that. I'm one of those guys that does everything. You know, I'll, I, I love making marbles and paperweights, but could I do that all the time? No way, right? Um, I love making chandeliers, but could I do that all the time? Nope. So I bounce around and do many different things depending on what my mood is, um, how I'm feeling, commissions coming my way. So I just, I'm very diverse in my work. Boise always had a pretty good art scene, but uh, you know, you can have a cool art vibe, but if the buyers aren't there to make your bills, then we've got a problem, right? And so now we're finally, like a market would be, the farmer's market would be a great example of that, right? I've done the Capital City Public Market for 22 years and uh, just to see that like this year versus last year and the year before, as far as attendance um, is huge, huge number difference as far as attendance and sales. So you see that shift happening. I mean, you see it driving around every day, right? Like Boise is growing. A lot of apprenticing in different studios. Um, I would search out different artists that maybe gave a two week seminar on say goblet making or um, you'd have a month seminar on making platters or plates or paperweights and so I would search out these different techniques from different artists that I wanted to learn how to do and then I would you know, obviously come back here and practice and a lot of self-taught stuff as well. I don't know, I guess half of, half of my inspiration comes from custom orders where people ask me to create certain things and then so that gets me going in a certain direction where I add my influence to their original concept. And then the other part is just tra a lot of traveling. So it just depends on phases of my life, you know. Um, lately I've been doing a lot of rock stack stuff and uh, so I made this big tall rock stack uh, of, out of glass. Um, you know, again, just personal to me and something that I, I stack rocks in different places. And so I was like, oh, it'd be cool to stack some glass rocks. <laughs> and so, you know, there's times where I go into auto mode where I know I'm gonna make um, a, 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 the same product for all these stores. And so then I just put my headphones on and I just, I don't even think about glass. I think about other things while I'm making those products, you know, and then there's other times where I'm trying to achieve a specific thing and it takes a lot of trial and error to get there. And so there's a lot of R&D which sometimes is really frustrating, but I feel like it really keeps me going. You know, it's been pretty amazing. Sometimes, I, again, I, I, I come to work and I'm like, man, this whole place revolves off of blowing glass, like glass, and it's hard to believe that, that it's come to this, you know? It's been a long time, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked to be able to help other people learn how to blow glass turn people on to glass, have someone come in off the street and learn how to blow glass, um, and to be able to like provide jobs for some of these folks and to see like some of these people that worked for me for years like really like put their heart and soul into glass. No, no. I won't, I won't stop blowing glass until I can't move my fingers. So even once I retire, it'll be for fun instead of having to pay the mortgage, but it'll still be blowing glass. <laughs>